Welcome to Your Vertical Hope. Hi, welcome to the Vertical Hope Show. I'm your host, Michelle Davenport, and I have a special guest with me today, and her name is Stacy. I go to church with her, and we have a story to tell you today. So listen, I wanted to ask you, Stacy, what what are you here for today? What is the reason that you're on the show? Okay, well, I appreciate you inviting me, Michelle, to Always. be on the show. It's an honor, just like I was telling you. Um, okay, so um, back in 2011, I had a surgery that was called, well, what they had called it was a, um, it was called a, well, I had a hysterectomy. Okay? okay, all right. And then with that hysterectomy, I had a bladder sling put in. That's what they were telling me was a bladder sling to lift my bladder. Okay. Because I was a teacher. Okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> on your feet and running yes, around all the time. Yes. Teacher nurse bladder that you hear of. of yes. Course, you know. And yes. so, and I was teaching kindergarten, so I was up and down all the time, and I was leaky. You know, okay. or if I would cough, laugh, jump. Sneeze. I have so many women that deal with that. Girl. Right. Okay. Yes. Yeah. It's all an right? issue. It is an issue. Yeah. And so my doctor, my gynecologist, had said. Why don't we, when you, we get perform this hysterectomy, let's just go ahead and do this bladder lift. It's a non-invasive. Is that what it is? Non-invasive. Non-invasive. That you, it just, right. you be up walking the next day. We'll yeah. Do it all. Tag team two for one because the yeah. urologist did that. Yeah. And then the um, gynecologist did the hysterectomy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So I had that done. Never was I told that it was mesh. I just, you, you trusted your doctors. Absolutely. You know, yeah. you just trusted your doctors and you mm -hmm. trusted what they would say. Right. So, um, I took that summer off. I had the hysterectomy in the summer. That's kind of what teachers do. They have their surgeries. Yeah. In the summer. <laughs> and then and they the go back to school. Yeah, exactly. And then they go back to and school. And then they go back to teaching. Back to teaching. So I went back in August, got my classroom ready, was getting the bulletin boards ready, all of that. And, um, first week of school, I started having some lower back pain on the left side. Oh, okay. And okay. it just got worse and worse. And then I started having UTIs and then it just kept getting continuously worse. So I ended up having to take off a full nine months of work. On disability oh because my I was yeah because I was having problems and was not, it the mesh that was causing this girl, or? I did not know it was the mesh so you had no idea you just no, knew that you mesh were having was never mentioned right well it was, it was in invasive you're supposed to be in, in and out it's I got, okay my bladder's lifted I'm and good. You're, yeah you're good and now but mm -hmm. all of a sudden now you're having and a little backache yeah and it was hard for me to to to, to go to the bathroom as well oh, I would go just dribbles you know yeah and, um, yeah but never ever you did didn't put the two together I did not put the two together and I did not think it was my sling Got you. Got so, you. and I why would continue. you? Right. So I went to doctor after doctor, numerous doctors, trying to diagnose what was wrong. You know, I even went to this thing called pelvic floor floor therapy. I don't know if you've ever heard of what I pelvic. have. I have. Yeah. Heard of that. So it was interesting. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I can't remember where I heard it, but it just seems like I've heard it recently. It was very interesting, and then they just they do different things with your pelvic floor, and you know, try to release some muscles and different things like that. I went to that. Did not help had um, a series of injections. Yes. So it was um, a lot of stuff, but I, they never did say that it, they thought it was my hit from my hysterectomy. Finally, they gave me a diagnosis of something called IC. And it's a very long word to say. It's called interstitial cystitis. Oh, wow. Say that yeah, no, I'm not going to. Okay. I am not going to. <laughs> Basically, it's inflammation of the bladder and they do a cystoscope and that's where they take a picture of your bladder and they do one and it was all inflamed. So they had said that your bladder is inflamed just because of the surgery. You will get better. So mm. I just kind of took that, took that year off. That was the year I got married too, to my husband in 2011. So wow. I was off work, but I still went ahead and followed through with the, the wedding, which right. that was hard for me to do because here I am on disability. And, and in pain. I'm getting too. married and in pain. And in so pain. So walking down the aisle, yes. You're like in, limping down the aisle. Yep, this was, is all normal. I was in a lot of pain. And bladder pain, I don't know if you've ever had bladder pain before or had, or had a UTI. No. It's, it's just, it's, it's excruciating and it's just like razor blades and needles and different. It, that's how people describe it. You know mm. how I describe it? Mm -mm. <laughs> I describe it as a little bitty tiny person, a tiny bear and a little tiny midget that is oh, inside wow. your bladder. Bladder. I know this is going to sound yet. crazy. Well, first of all, the bear claws, okay, the bear claws in there, and then he goes away, and then you've got the little person in there, and just sprays lemon juice all over. Oh, gosh, darn it. Now that sounds crazy. Yeah, that, that's, that's a urinary tract infection you were talking about. I've had UTI. one that in my life, and funny enough, it was this mm -hmm. past year, Yeah. and I was like, oh, right. my gosh. Right, and it, I know yeah, this is horrible. personal stuff to talk right. about. Right, it, 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 it is. It's personal, it's all right. but it needs to be, it needs to be shared. Sure. Because women, a lot of times 
hold this in and keep this in and don't know sure. that that's actually what's happening. So that's right. years passed and it just never got better. And I just kept getting, I would go to different doctors and they would say, your sling's not the problem. They'd do an exam and they would say, your sling's not the problem. They gave me um, estrogen, like to, to take estrogen cream yeah. to take, yeah. to, to help with that. They say that's what's supposed to help. They, um, what else did they give me? Muscle relaxers. To help wow. because to they help say it's the relax muscle, your muscle. Relax muscle. Right, right, right. That, right, didn't right. Help. that did not help the UTIs. It did not help the chronic UTIs. And so, like I said, I had one in yeah. this past year, and that mm -hmm. was so much pain. Yeah. That w I was in so much pain. Yeah. I, I, I was supposed to go babysit, and I had to send my husband to go because it I was hurts. so. Oh yeah. It hurts. Yeah, it, it and just, so this is off and on for years. Well, that was 2011, so it's been 13 years. 13 years. 13 years, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And so just up until, and then, so then, but things happen, life happens. You get them, you know, you, I think I kind of went into a remission period. Yeah. Because I had those injections. Yeah. And so I kind of think, but I still kept getting the UTIs. But, you know, what would happen is you'd go into the doctor, they'd get, they'd prescribe Macrobid, which is what it's called. It lasts you only seven days. You go two or three days or four days after that, it comes back but they won't prescribe it to you to have long term. Okay, so you let me- You gotta go in and get a UTI, a urine yeah, analysis. Yeah, yeah, You gotta go to go in and get a test. Yeah. Okay. A lot of hassle. Pee, pee in a cup. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, pee in a cup. To just get a prescription. When yeah. I knew, good and well, this is a UTI. Okay, so, so listen, go. this is a long time. Yeah. So we have, we have learned that it is a 13 year, 13 years, right? Mm -hmm. uh, journey for you mm -hmm. and this is all the signs and all the symptoms and all the things that you've had to go through to just to figure out right. when was the time that you actually figured out what it really was that it was my sling yes yeah what it Being really was head, you know kind of knew that you know I have yeah to think about it because it's my sling so, no it's not your sling so after probably i've been to one two three but you four. didn't have any problems before the sling no Okay, so there you go. I have my UTI here and there. Here and there, and some women yeah. are prone to it. So, yeah. I mean, that doesn't say that yeah. you were to have kept right. on having it. And them. I didn't mention this, and I might mention it a little bit, it, it, and my husband said, you have to mention this, but intimacy yeah. is just painful. So we ended up going to a, a therapist because of that. And yeah. It, it just stopped. Yeah, and well, our, when you're in pain, and I know all you women out there, you, you know what, y'all are perking up about right now, because you know, <laughs> when you're in pain, I mean, you, that is the last thing on your mind, yes. but your husband's not in pain. So that's the first, that might be the first thing on his, but even though he has compassion right. and sympathy for you, a man is a man. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I can see what that would cause. Yeah. Like, and so then, then, and it, then it's a spot, right. And then it's a spiral because then what happens is then you get, it's a mental state right. and a mindset. Right, right, right. So then you don't think you're attractive and it just becomes, I mean, there's women that I've talked to in this group that I'm in and I'll talk to you about later, but their husbands have left them. This they, is a serious yeah. issue, y'all. Yeah. And that's why yeah. I brought it on my show today. Yeah. I mean, right. we're going to give you vertical of hope. Them. Don't you worry right. about that. We're right. bringing that today. Yes. But <laughs> we got to get the story yeah. out and then we'll right. bring you some hope with the story. Right. But that's why I wanted her on my show today because this is a huge huge yes. problem yes. and this is affecting marriage this is not just affecting your health but it's affecting your marriages mm -hmm. out there and so stacy yeah. when did you when was the time that you found out that it was the mess like okay. when was the moment the moment that i found out the mess was when i went to one of the doctors like i said i was going to numerous doctors and i went to the one doctor and he he said yeah it he did an exam he said you're i can feel your mesh and it's in the muscle on the left side and he said, technically, when I had used to instruct doctors to put in mesh, and this is after the lawsuits, everything, so now they're kind right. of starting to come around. He goes, yours is going through the muscle. They're supposed to go around the bone. So it's going through this muscle called the overtrader muscle. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, That's but it's, right. it's the, it's the, the TVTO is the sling I have, and the O is the overtrader muscle. Right, anyway, right. it goes through that muscle. He goes, what I can do is I can just partially snip it. And so I changed my insurance to go to this doctor to get the surgery, but right. something went, something in my, my soul and my spirit was saying, this isn't okay. And I talked to a group of ladies on my Thursday morning Bible study group, and I said, I can do this, or he said I could go to the Mayo Clinic and have to have full removal. And one of the gals is Connie, she said to me, I don't know if you know Connie, but she said to me, girl, if you can get that whole thing out, I'd get the whole thing get out. Get the whole thing out. causing you trouble. That's I what I'm thinking. Same thing. I have yeah. the same thing. Get it out. Get it out. So I didn't know what to do. I had to do research. And that's when I found all these groups on Facebook. There's two groups that I found on Facebook that are called Sling the Mesh and Mesh Problems. I found a plethora 
of girls that are having, men too, because of the hernia mesh, yeah. are having the same issue. And they said, you need to go, actually, the Sling the Mesh is based out of the UK. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, yes, okay. It's okay. based gotcha. out of the UK because it's banned in the UK. Oh. 2018, it got banned. Okay. It's crazy what we let in here. I know. Yeah. That's <laughs> like a whole other show. Right. right. <laughs> so, and joke. that, this, this book that I've been reading, it, it, it talks all about the Sling the Mesh group, but she started a campaign. She used to be a, um, her name's Kath Sampson, and she used to be, um, or she is still a, um, a, like she works for the newspaper, some newspaper there. Okay. Anyway, she had the same thing, and she had surgery and all of wow. this. So she started this campaign called Sling the Mesh. Started it out, um, I think back in two, I don't know, maybe 2015. She just had nine years, so whenever long I could. Right. Anyway. She started in the UK, started a website, started the campaign, then they started protesting. They went to their, their whatever, their, their parliament, however they, you know, it is over Got there. It. Yep. Went on and on and on. And then we, she started a group on Facebook called Sling the Mesh. Sling the Mesh. Sling the Mesh. So if you're having yes. problems and you need, yeah. and this show doesn't give mm -hmm. you all the, a lot mm -hmm. of the answers and we didn't get some of your questions right. answered, Sling the Mesh on mm -hmm. Facebook. Go okay, to that right. and ask to be in the group. Mm -hmm. Stacy's in the group so you can yes. get a hold of her there and you can also reach her on Facebook. Yeah. And uh, we'll tell you again at the end of the show. But right. if you need help and you yes. think this sounds like me or somebody I know, that's a resource for you mm -hmm. right off the bat. That is a little bit of vertical mm -hmm. hope for you right there. Right. Isn't it that cute there's a group. Called Sling the Mesh. Sling the mesh. Sling <laughs> it out of here. Get it out of here. <laughs> right. Yeah. So, so I. So this is kind of a funny story, but I, um, how I found it, was um, one of the gals based out of the UK said, "Oh, well, we travel over there, and we travel. They have to pay out of pocket. Yeah. But we travel, and there is this doctor. I believe there's a doctor in St. Louis of the USA. And I said, St. Louis. <laughs> Yeah. Like, that's my backyard. I'm yeah, 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 you yeah, all. Yeah, that's my back. That's, that's right in my I backyard. I can do this. And his name's Dr. Veronicus. Yeah. And um, I had an appointment with him, and he is, he, he basically told me, it's your mesh. He said, did you have IC before you got the mesh in? And I said, no. And he said, and you're having IC now? And I said, yes. And he said, you don't have IC. It's your sling. And we got to get it out. Sling the mesh. Sling the mesh. It's going to take the whole thing out. Girl, there's a group of Canadian women from Quebec. It's a French that speak French, and there's a woman who brings all of them in. And there is a house, a recovery house, across the street from the hospital. And this woman named Cynthia Ganage, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing her name right or whatever, but she brings groups of women, and she's like got them numbered. And I think she's like on number 25 right now, and she brings these women over, and she's their interpreter. And she speaks for them and they have a recovery house that they say now i don't know in canada if it's getting paid for by their government but I somehow it's getting funded wouldn't that be amazing if we could do that here that would be amazing because all these people trusted their doctors to put in right. this this mesh and said it was just in right. and out you know no problems mm -hmm. just an easy kind of surgery and although the surgery may be easy and the doctor was not lying about that but the effects of that surgery is from what mm -hmm. i'm hearing today is far from easy and far from handle, being able to handle your relationships well, mm -hmm. to be able to be out of chronic pain. I mean, there's just mm -hmm. so many issues it's with this. It's plastic. It's putting plastic it's like in your body. I mean, we don't, like throw, your, yeah. we don't want to throw plastic yeah. in our oceans because <laughs> our, our, our sea life gets a hold of it and right. it kills them. Right. And it's, but it's okay that we put plastic yeah. in your yeah. body. Now see, somebody should have had that <laughs> ding, ding, ding. As right. soon as she said plastic, because I haven't done a lot of research as far as, right. as much as she has, but as soon as she said plastic, I'm like, wait a minute, mm -hmm. we, we stopped doing Poly plastic straws. Polypropylene. Yeah, mm -hmm. we stopped doing plastic. I mean, we're, we're trying to get people to stop throwing their plastics in the ocean, mm -hmm. but yet it was okay to put plastic in her body. Right. That is that is absurd. Yeah. Right. And so I'm so glad that you're advocating. Yeah. yeah. And there are alternatives to it. And so. they, maybe they yeah. should have gave you an alternative yeah. instead of yeah. putting plastic in you. Right. Gave you some options instead uh -huh. of just going, hey, this is what right. we're going to do. Right. And, but anyway, so, yeah. okay, so you did find out from another doctor that yes. it was definitely your mesh. You yes. wasn't in your head. I imagine after 13 years, just like the woman with the issue of blood, you know, I imagine after 13 years, you were thinking, am, am I loose? I mean, is it me? Is it my body? I mean, is it my mesh? Mm -hmm. Isn't it my mesh? Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. I would be doubting after going to so many doctors right. and they kept telling you, oh, yeah, it's your mesh. It's mm -hmm. this. It's, it isn't this. It's this. But in your head, you're thinking, mm -hmm. I didn't have this problem until I got the mesh. Right. 
but for 13 years, this is right. why she's here today. Yes. For 13 years, this woman has suffered because of this mesh that was put, this plastic mesh mm -hmm. that was placed in her body. And so this is why I really wanted her on today is so she could share her story, but also she, she could share her hope. And she, when I asked her to give me some scriptures to be on the show, this is one she gave me. It's Matthew 9, 20. It says, just then a woman who had been subject to bleeding for 12 years came up behind him, Jesus, and touched the edge of his cloak. She said to herself repeatedly, if I can only touch his cloak, I will be made whole. That's the scripture she gave she gave me several, but that's the one that just jumped off yeah. the page to me because this is her story. Mm -hmm. If I can just get a sling this mesh, mm -hmm. I too can be made whole right. if I can get it out of my body. Right. I mean, she struggled for you know 12 years. She's been struggling for 13. It's high time we get it out. And when I post this on YouTube, eventually, I'm gonna leave a link. I didn't even get the connection. I just now made the connection, the 12 years and the 13, 13 years. years. Yeah, I made it as soon as I read your, since yes. I read the, the notes, uh, I got that connection. That's wow. why I picked this scripture. I was like, wow, well, she's got something in common with the it. woman with the issue of love. Yeah. Anyway, I will link. I mean, I link. do love that scripture, and I did. It, it is, it is relatable to that. Yeah. That I took 12 years just playing this came out. Yeah, yeah 12 years, mm -hmm. but you've been 13. So Wait, I know. you went a year longer than this woman, <laughs> and Jesus had so much compassion on her, so much compassion on this woman with the issue of what. Yes. And you know, if you knew, if you know the scripture, studied mm -hmm. it out at all, you know everybody was pressing against him. Right. But he felt her faith. Right. Touch the yes. hem of his garment, and she just kept saying, and in the I believe it's in the Greek, it says she just repeatedly said, when she just kept saying, if I can just touch, if I can just touch, and, and you, she right. was in a crowd, and if she was bleeding so she was she was called defiled if you touched her you would have spent seven days be getting washed and being clean you right. wouldn't be, be around nobody this woman had suffered so much y'all that she wasn't allowed to even go into the temple to pray god to praise god or, to, or be with jesus nothing she wasn't even allowed to go with the women to the well to get the water she wasn't allowed to come over the house for anybody's dinner she wasn't allowed to be around nobody and the word of god here says she overheard she overheard about this yes. jesus and she made a plan to get to the hem of that garment mm -hmm. because she wanted to be made whole and this is why Stacy's here today because some of you just need to be made whole right. today you just right. need hope that you that this ain't in your head that you're not imagining this mesh is causing problems you're not that's not in your imagination that she's already went through all the channels that some of you are going mm -hmm. through right now and I want her to maybe leave the doctor's name um, oh, I will for sure. And, yeah, when we end the show, I want her I to tell. I can leave some doctor's names of not to go to. Yeah, well. yeah. Well, we'll just leave the doctor's name to go to today. Today, I don't want you to all suit on me, but no, uh, no, listen, okay. we will we will leave the name of the doctor that she reached yes. out to because I totally believe that you need that information. Yes. Because that's again another step towards vertical hope. Mm -hmm. Anytime you can see a light at the tunnel, that's hope. Mm -hmm. And so Stacy's here to shed that light on you, so you'll have right. hope. Yes, her story is horrific. But I'm sure it matches yeah. a bazillion people out there right. that are dealing, men and women alike. Uh -huh. And so what I would ask you today is the other women that are experiencing the same, who can they reach out to? Women right now, or men for that matter. Oh, well. Who the, can they reach out to? Well, the Lord. Yeah, That's absolutely. The well, the all, I, I'm working, and if you're watching this show, you're probably reaching out to yes. the Lord. Yes. But, but that's, I mean, that's where I, I mean, I always had been, but that's when I really yeah. just said, you know, and I even went to the altar several times and just said, if this is what you're wanting for me, Lord, show me the way, you know, show me what I need to do and help, help provide financial for me. Because insurance does not cover the surgery, right. unfortunately. There are a few doctors that I have heard of that it does, but for this specific type of surgery, it's out of pocket. And unfortunately, that's just how things are. And it's because the doctors are um, the doctors are not saying the mesh is bad. So they have to say the mesh is bad before insurance will cover it. Yeah. It's put in meant to be permanent. Yes. And they didn't tell me that either, which <laughs> whatever, because it's, it, it, mold, it, like, it kind of evolves into your scar tissue and yeah, it just grows to your body. I'm sorry. It creates scar <laughs> tissue. It just, yeah. Yeah. It becomes a part of your body. It becomes body. a part of your body. And they didn't tell me this, but they have told some friends of mine that I've met that just recently got them is that it um it's only supposed to last 10 to 15 years and i said well then chrissy what do you do after 10 they told you it only lasts 10 to 15 years what do you do after that and she goes you get a new one 
That's what her doctor told her. You get a new one. No, There's thank you. There's a group you. of doctors. There is a group of doctors, and I have it somewhere. Yeah, because that's the question. Yeah, if, if, well, there's a group of doctors well, that you can to? go to, and um, it's called openpaymentsdata.cms.gov, and maybe we can post this on here. But those are the doctors that are getting personal. Say it again. Okay. And oh. very slow, so these okay. people, I want you to have a yes. resource. We don't want to just give you information. I want you right. to have, when you get finished watching, I want you to be able to go right. do something. Right. Say well, it. first of all, you want to go because yes. you want to find, you want to trust your medical community. It's openpaymentsdata.cms.gov. Okay. Okay. Perfect. And that will tell you whether your doctor is in a group of doctors that's getting paid by the industry to put them in. Oh, they get, yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, they so, get paid to put the mesh in. Right, and so, and so they, you can they, find out if you're a doctor. You into, yeah, they're talking to you mesh after mesh after mesh after mesh. Okay. You know, okay. so that's not okay. So then I would just reach out to the, the online mesh groups. There's Sling the Mesh that I talked about earlier. There is, um, the, there's called, I think it's called Mesh Problems. You just can go on Facebook and do a search for mesh groups. But there's also, um, there's also a blog um, and I'm not, it's not coming to me right now, but it's, um, it, it, it gives a list of lawyers that you can go to. I'm sure if you just go on Facebook and sling the right. mesh group, it, it's in the I group. mean, you can ask people in the group. Yeah. Hey, that's how, yeah, that's how I did it. Just start asking yeah. questions in the group to know. even get more information mm -hmm. and know. you can find Stacy. Yeah. Tell them how they can find you on Facebook. Okay. You can find me just on Stacy D. Sadie. I'm on Facebook. I mean, that's where I'm at. Yeah. Stacy D. Sadie. Yeah, Stacy on, D. Sadie. On yeah, Facebook. and you see her face, so you know what you know. You know, yeah. you got the right woman, and, and you can message. reach out to her because just she's on, an yeah, advocate. Direct messenger. Yeah, please do because it's just. And then there's a, then the, then they also the groups have a list of doctors. So in you know when you go to a group on Facebook, they'll have up at the top they'll have you know featured or you know articles and videos or something like that the top I'm not it's coming yeah. up to me but all across the top you can click on files is what it is and you can go to files and you can click on that and then it will give you a list of just different documents there's I have researched this more than anything I have researched before and so there's just not a whole lot of doctors out there that will do this and so if you have a sling and it's even hernia slings too but if you have mesh inside you it's not okay. Mesh is mesh. It's plastic, and you need to advocate for yourself and get it out. You know, I, yes. I, I'm to the point where I'm ready to write my congressman. Yeah, and I would highly suggest that. You know, and uh, what's the doctor's name? Because I don't, oh, I don't oh, want oh, our show okay. to end without you telling exactly. him that too. That his name is Doctor V, is what they call him, Doctor V. But it's Doctor Veronicus, and I'm not going to go about and pronounce his first name. He's a Greek, and I cannot. <laughs> Dr. Veronicus. <laughs> and, Dr. Veronicus. And where is in he? In St. Louis. He's Saint. at Mercy Hospital in St. Louis. And he's the one that, and he's going to be retiring soon. So he's the one that um, a lot of people are going to, especially nearby. I know there's there's a couple of other doctors, but they're also on that Sling the Mesh group. But it's Dr. Veronicus who's going to be taking my sling out, and I'm still raising funds yeah. to get that done. And you can go on her. I also want to mention this. You can go on her, find her on Facebook, and you can scroll down her page. And if you want to donate to Stacy and help her get her mesh out, you know, I always say when you have a problem, go help somebody else because God will bless you for doing that. So, you know, if you're wanting to raise funds to help get yours out mm -hmm. as well, then I would go sow a seed. That's what I'd do. Right. I'd go sow a seed. Sow a seed where there's a need and just get, you know, get your eyes off you for just a second and put it on <laughs> somebody else. And I believe that. I yes. do. There's so many times that I've needed something that I just go sow what I need because right. I believe there's a blessing in that. But if you want to support mm -hmm. Stacy in any way financially, you can go on her Facebook, find her, and then scroll down her page. You won't have to scroll far, and there'll be a place where you can give to this cause and help yeah. her get her sling out. Yeah. Now, we've got a few more more minutes left and I just want Stacy to impart some vertical hope on you know what what did you find helpful and hopeful during this process I know God right I know scriptures right um was there any bit of hope other and maybe it was your Facebook groups I don't know but you do no I even I mean I, I there's hope all, all over the place there's hope in the Lord because you have to lean into the Lord and realize that this I mean I I was lost. It's just like anything else. It's a medical issue. I was lost, and I just thought this is how it's going to be the rest of my life. Right, and that's no and way to. So live. then, then you right. then you lose hope. Yeah, you lose hope, and I just 
I, like I said, I went to the altar, I prayed for financial provision, I did all of that, and I just, I kept, I kept asking the Lord, show me, what should I do? What, and he said to me, he said to me, and just loud and clear, and I was just telling Michelle, whenever the Lord speaks to me, he either uses child or daughter. Child and or that's daughter. how I know he That's how she knows. And he said to me, loud and clear, your hope is in the miracles that you ask for. And you're asking for a miracle to heal you. And your hope is in the miracles because your hope is to be an advocate and to spread the word because I want you well, daughter. That's what he said. Yeah. So and I don't know anymore. Just into just helping other people. There's and, the vertical and, hope. And letting people know that you can, like people go, well, I just can't afford it. Well, that's what I thought too. Mm -hmm. But then I prayed about it and I thought, and I thought, and my community group came together and they said, let's do the spot fund page. I said, I can't do that. I'm too humble. I can't ask for money. And they said, do it. You, it doesn't hurt to ask. And, and here's so, some vertical hope. Tell them how much that you're, oh, we're, we're already spot. halfway there. We're, halfway yeah, there. We're, we're, my, my goal is 22, 22,000 and we are at 11. So when I said, when I got to 11, I would schedule the surgery. So yeah, 22. That's correct. That yeah, covers expenses and because and, you have to stay in a hotel when you're yeah, there yeah. because you ha you can't. They keep this packing stuff in you for seven days in a catheter, and so you have to. You gotta stay local. Stay there. You yeah, stay local, and you're not yeah. at the hospital. And so, you're not at the hospital, that so that for, covers your expenses. That will you pay know, for the expenses. and if you have somebody mm -hmm. you can stay with wherever the yeah. surgery is, that might cut your yeah. spend, expenses in half. But right. you know, there's some vertical hope. There, I found vertical yes. hope all in her story, mm -hmm. and just that God had just kept. Mm -hmm. She didn't give up. She that's vertical yeah. hope. She didn't give up that she's gonna get to the bottom of her pain. She found a doctor eventually that absolutely knew what was going mm -hmm. on with her and wants to get it out of her. Then she talked to some groups and she got yep. in some groups exactly. and then she started raising the money. So she has been an active, a very proactive person in her mm -hmm. own health journey. And that is hope. And all along she's praying and seeking God for right. wisdom on what to do next. Mm -hmm. So that is your vertical hope. Whether I don't want you to watch this show today and then think, oh gosh, I've got that mesh. Mm -hmm. you now, this is horrible news. I want you to watch, right. had watch this show and think there is hope for me. If there's hope for Stacy, God's no respecter of person. There is hope for me and what he'll do for her, he will do for me. Amen. 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 You know, Amen. I ask on the groups, I ask in the groups, a lot of them about hope just because I was kind of curious as yeah. to what people would say. Yeah. And a lot of them said that their hope was just to be pain free. You know, yeah. a lot of them pain free. Uh, oh, I got over a hundred responses when I asked. A lot of them just said that I hope it would be gone away. So a lot of people were using hope as I hope that they can take it away or they can ban it or they can do things. But then one last one, a gentleman said that God will help assist and remove this constant misery. Okay. That so, is where your ultimate hope Mm -hmm. It begins and ends. It's in God's ability, not only to get it out of your body, mm -hmm. but sustain you. And the miracle, a lot of people think miracles is like he instantly heals you right. and it just poofs out of your body I'm so miraculously. Glad you said that. I'm so glad you said but, that. But yeah, yes. but it's not. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, you, Sometimes God just uses doctors, right? right? He just uses doctors to bring your healing and that's okay. Sometimes right. it's miraculous and sometimes it's with doctors, but it's both miraculous because whether he uses it and does it on his own or whether he uses a doctor to do it, right. that is still a miracle getting it out of your body. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. 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 Well, Stacy, thank you so yes. much for stopping by today for the Vertical Hope yes. Show. Thank you. I so enjoyed you. you. We'll have to have her back for an update. Oh yes. God bless sure. you. Yeah.